Hi everybody, it's Teacher Denise, and today I'm going to read you Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. It's by Peter Brown. Oh, I'll show you what's under the dust jacket um, after we finish the story, because it'll make sense. All right, everyone was perfectly fine with the way things were. Everyone but Mr. Tiger. So I noticed that the way things were is that everybody is dressed up with fancy hats and they all look like their faces are like this. It's very serious and they're all walking around. Nobody's smiling. Nobody's interacting with each other. And they all are fine with it but Mr. Tiger's not. Mr. Tiger was bored with always being so proper. So here's a conversation. Good day, Mr. Tiger. Good day, Mr. Deer. Lovely weather we are having, I suppose. Indeed. And here's another one. Now children, please do not act like wild animals. Because look, the children are trying to run around. Mr. Tiger wanted to loosen up. He wanted to have fun. He wanted to be wild. Makes sense because he is a tiger and tigers are wild animals. Well, one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. I wonder what he's gonna do. All the rest of them were walking on two feet and Mr. Tiger just got down and now he's walking on four feet. He felt better already. But look at everybody else's face. Mr. Tiger is happy with his choice to go on four feet, but the rest of them, they all look a little bit surprised. Well, Mr. Tiger became wilder and wilder every day. He got so wild that he made this big noise. Make this noise with me. Roar! It's a wild tiger noise. His friends did not know what to think. Over here, she goes, peculiar. Here, he goes, wow. Here, he goes, unacceptable and she goes hmm well then mr P tiger went a little too far can you guys see what he did he went into the fountain with his clothes on and he came out with no clothes at all He looks happy. I don't know about everybody else. Well, his friends had lost their patience. Mr. Tiger, if you must act wildly, kindly do so in the wilderness. What a magnificent idea. All right, so off he goes. Away from the city into the wilderness. Oh, here it is. There's the wilderness. Looks very wild out there. So Mr. Tiger ran away into the wilderness. I noticed that the wilderness has a lot of plants. There's some water and some beautiful waterfalls. Very different from the city he's used to living in. It's actually more colorful too. Well, Mr. Tiger went completely wild. He ran through fields. He tried to catch some fish. He stood in the wilderness and made a nice big roar. I think he's feeling sufficiently wild. Hmm. But I notice there's nobody else out there with him. Mr. Tiger was lonely. He missed his friends. He missed the city. 
He missed his home. His face tells me he's not feeling so great about this anymore. I think he's actually feeling sad now. So, Mr. Tiger decided to return. Oh, and look. His friends are there, ready to welcome him. And look, his friend here. She has a shirt for him. Looks like maybe they got used to the idea that Mr. Tiger was bored with being so proper. And they're offering him an opportunity to come back and be a little bit more himself. And when Mr. Tiger came back, he found that things were beginning to change. So on this page, I see that the animals, many of the animals are walking on four feet. And many of them have smiles on their faces. I even see that some of them are not dressed in their fancy clothes anymore. That's different from the beginning of the book. And look at all of them at the beginning of the book. They're all fancy, they're all on two feet, they're all wearing their proper fancy clothes, they're all serious. Well now, Mr. Tiger felt free to be himself. He could go with no clothes, he could go with all the fancy clothes, he could go with just his casual shirt. And so did everyone else. Even Miss Elephant, she was the one who sent him into the wilderness and now here she is in the wilderness and nothing but her hat and feeling very happy about it. The end. Now, I told you guys I would show you what's under the dust jacket. When you take off the cover of the book, look what's underneath. It's Mr. Tiger's stripes because they're not covered up by the book anymore. I think that's really clever. All right, so that was Mr. Tiger Goes Wild by Peter Brown. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.